Hi Capricorn, how's it going? And welcome to your mid-April general reading. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus, or if you're interested in a Capricorn, welcome all. I am so grateful and glad that you're here. Capricorn, if you'd like to join us for your love reading, that's where we connect with the other person you're dealing with in love, romance, or in relationships. Your love reading is always the first link in the description box below. Also Capricorn, don't forget to stick around until the end of the reading where I pick one of your names at random for the pick a card, okay? It could be you this time, I don't know. I'll have to wait to the end to see who wins the pick a card drawing this time. All right, my loves, Capricorn, how are you? I love y'all so much, thank you for being here. Again, this is your mid-April general reading. We're doing a nine card spread. And y'all don't forget it's general, please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Spirit, one of the best and highest messages for Capricorn right there capricorn sun moon rising and venus again for mid-april um this is an old school deck it's the archangel tarot deck i believe i was called to use this this time all right lovers at the bottom of the deck gemini energy for a group of you that's also counterpart the lovers is the counterpart part to devil um devil is your card in the major arcana you've got the lovers boo at the bottom of the deck also the, i was like hey boo in your pre-shuffle, I was getting Capricorn a lot of like, you know, so I'll talk to Spirit, I'll say Capricorn, and I was going, Cappy, Capricorn, oh, Capster. <laughs> Nicknames and uh, all that's going to be really significant for this group as well. Something divinely guided meant for you is poof, just appearing here, okay? Intimate relationships, this is good news around health for a lot of you, but the lover's card again, it's like, it's your match, it's the other side, it's the duality here, okay? Wow. Lover's card is a divinely guided person and or situation meant for you. What's been going on with Capricorn? Where have y'all been, recent past? You came right out. You came right out. It's called the ego here, but um, 15 significant. I'm seeing double 15. Also 6-6, six, six, which is 12, which is 3. Any of those numbers could be really significant to this group. Okay, uh, renewal. So you've got your card out, the devil. You've got renewal, which is judgment. Okay, you have been looking at yourself like crazy. High priestess. These are all major arcanas. These are all very intense energies. You've been really harsh on yourself. I'm going to say that. Judgment on your own card. You're like being too critical on how you show up at work. This is like the energy of being too hard on myself about not reaching a certain goal. I'm hearing a lot of like busybody energy. What's been going on with Capricorn, please? It's been in the recent past. Another major arcana. These these are major, this is a big deal when we get all major arcanas. Big player energy, not small time, big time. The Empress came out, Divine Feminine, number three. You're in alignment though. Divine Feminine here, a lot of abundance around you. Gold and red are really calling at me. That could be significant. really been looking at your situation where am I at in life where am I at in this situation um I'm gonna go ahead and say again being also too hard on yourself but with the empress it's like there's been a deep calling for you Capricorn that you deserve better in a situation divine feminine showed up what's currently happening with Capricorn what's the current energy four of wands Union, marriage for some of you. It's a commitment card. Seven of Wands. Current energy, Nine of Cups, Nine of Water. This is um, 
Also for Pisces that I worked on earlier, this was in the heart of their reading. So some of you for dealing with the Pisces might wanna check that out. Nine of Cups, you've got a wish fulfillment coming around a Four of Wands, a commitment, a union, Nine of Wands. A lot of you devil renewal uh, empress have renewed your energy and you've stepped out of the shadows into the light. Darkness into the light is like has been your vibe. Things that you were scared of, you're like, I'm just going to put it out there. I'm getting that for y'all as well. And that's bringing you a wish fulfillment around a four of wands, a commitment, okay? What's happening with Capricorn? Nine of wands that showed up too um, earlier and seven of swords. So there is a lot of like double nines here. You are at the end of some type of cycle. You're at the end of a... Uh, you know, you're about to cross the finish line in a situation. <clears throat> Lovers came right back out. Also, what, what is this? What is this? Hi, Priestess. Y'all know what it is. Okay, we've got your card, the Four of Wands in this row, and then now the Lovers card. That's literally shadow to light or coming in union with your light and shadow side within yourself. But this is like, wow. You are gonna have a choice when this comes in because this talks. This card specifically talks about, I have to make a decision now. <sighs> What's coming in for Capricorn, please? Last two for mid-April. Thank you, Spirit, for these messages. This is really intense in a good way ace of wands at the bottom of the deck this is a hot passionate new beginning you are about to be extremely excited about whatever this is we have the five of wands the three of wands um the ace of wands the king of air the queen of cups the page of pentacles Whatever's coming in, other people, other parties, other situations are going to be so pissed that they skipped you, passed you up, didn't choose you because you have the fire now. You have the thing now. And this deck, the three of wands, abundance, things looking very good, long-term plans. Three of wands is like, I'm getting something going and I'm going to move forward with my plans, with my arrangements. Even though nine of wands, you're a little tired, you're a little scared, you're a little like overwhelmed and burdened here. But with the Empress, you know for your, the divine feminine within you that you deserve something better than what you've been dealing with. And you finally either, it's like twofolded as you, devil four of wands lovers, as you come into union with you. The light, the shadow, the good, the bad, the, the ba, 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 all that within you, because all of those are you mixed within, right? Once we identify and look at that, I'm proud of who I am. Nine of Cups, you start bringing in, it's like attraction energy. When your vibration gets so, I'm just seeing alignment, 11, 11, 11, 11, four of wands, the duality of you, like you're in alignment you can't help but resonate and attract other people, opportunities and situations that are on the same vibration. You can't help it. It'll, they will just come to you, lover's card. It'll just magically like, oh, that's a great idea from that person. And oh, I got this great. Idea. And look at that email I just caught. Like things come in when you choose yourself. And again, kind of capping this reading, five of wands, three of wands, opportunities, people, places, you know, situations that couldn't see your potential, that couldn't see your light. Well, guess what? They're on the sidelines now, big time. This is very, very, very good. Everything that you've been waiting for is coming in. I heard, I'm looking at the five of wands again. And you're just jealousy. Other people about to be so jealous of, why did Capricorn get that? How come they get that job? How come they get that opportunity? Like those are the, 
annoying people around you that are just like, mm, why do they get that? Because you're this group is doing the work or it has done the work and is doing the work. Addressing all sides of yourself. All right. I've already pre-shuffled and cut this. Let's go back to the ego. Let's go back to you. Okay. A lot of you also, I do, they're showing me the mask. So a lot of you have been wearing a mask, not being in your full potential in a certain situation. Okay. One, two, three, as I say that, or it was 10, 23, but I saw one, two, three. Spirit, why has the ego been here for Capricorn, please? You over generous, over giving you. Three of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Death Card, Scorpio energy. What part of yourself had to go? The people pleaser energy? That's the mask, right? I want everyone to like me. I can show up in this way and give here and do that. And I can do that. And I can handle that. Da -da 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 -da. You can, but you also need to give it up at the same time. Or have been called to, been asked to. Ten of, Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Damn. It doesn't help you or serve you when you show up in a false energy of I want everyone to like me. I'm a people pleaser. I'm super generous with my time, my money, my whatever that you've been over giving in. That's what needed to go. If someone's going to love you, invest in you, want to be your friend, want to get to know you, want to work with you. They're going to love you right now as is no ifs, ands, or buts. You, don't, you need to hear this so bad. You don't need to do anything else, overstep, overgive. I even heard for some of you overshare in a situation or towards people that are not giving back towards you. It's like you go into a new job, for example, like, hey, I'm kind of new here, whatever. No, I mean, that's not you. You usually own the company, but like, I'm just using that as an example. You're the new person in town whatever, whatever, I'm going to show them this and I can do that and da, 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 and you can. And then you sit on the sidelines and go, who's showing up and giving me that energy as well? Who's matching my energy? You've noticed that no one has. No one's leveled up to you. Right, boss? Right. That's how spirit said it. Right, boss? Right. <coughs> renewal. Judgment energy in this deck is called renewal. Time for something new. Renewal. Okay, reviewing your life, looking at where things are good, where also where things are not feeling good. What's this judgment? What's this review, review and renewal been about? Two of Pentacles. It's like you've been burning. Um, Ace of Pentacles came out. It's like burning the candle at both ends. I can do it. I can handle it. You can, but only for a short amount of time. Two of Pentacles is very overwhelming energy. Renewal, I can't. King of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. When you learn to love yourself, King of Cups, Three of Pentacles, you take a step back and you let people serve you and help you build a legacy. A lot of you too, especially in like career slash family, I'm feeling that you showed people how to treat you. This is how I like my home. This is how I run my business. This is how I show up in ba 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 my relationship, King of Cups. And you realize as you've been teaching those people that you can take a step off now. You don't have, like I'm getting like micromanaging energy. Like say you're the boss at your job and you're like, "All right, I'm taking a couple days off. Can my team keep the numbers going? Like can my team keep it up?" The only way you will know is if you actually give them a chance. That's the, yeah, that was the homework for you guys. A lot of you have some really deep seated trust issues you have every right to because something that you've been building and working for, um, it never really got in the exact place that you wanted it to go. And the reason why is over giving, over sharing, being being everything. You don't have to be everything. 
a lot of you I'm hearing also Madonna open your heart to me so you turn the key you've had the key the whole time to something and the key honestly was you doing less the, for this group the key for you is doing less taking a nap taking a night off not doing overtime you know what I mean y'all got it and that's why you were not in your empress energy and you were asking and be, you're being called to be in your empress energy even the guys watching masculines whatever you've been asked to be in more of a feminine energy and go with the flow to receive was this empress been about divine feminine also taurus and libra for a group of you it's the new you full card two of wands new you is exactly how spirit said that Eight of Pentacles, and it takes work. Five of Wands, and it takes work to do less for this group. The entrepreneurs, the go, 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 the leaders, the all the things. Even if you're not technically like a business owner, you, you're you in your community, Capricorn, people look to you for stability, the answer, you know, that kind of thing in, 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 in a lot of ways. Empress, Two of Wands, Full Card, Eight of Pentacles. It's going to take practice, if this makes sense. Not effort, really, I should say, to make this more clear. It's going to take rehearsal time, practice to, okay, I'm going to let them do it. Okay, I'm going to trust that my partner can, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to trust that my team can, blah, 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 blah. This is you letting go, letting go. Sun card came out. Letting go of what? Five of wands competitive energy having to be the best at something which is what you are i mean i mean capricorn is top tier energy top top tier energy you're not the house you're not the apartment you're not even the mansion you're a castle i hope you all heard that right speaking of let's look at your four of wands commitment union marriage for a lot of you um, a, like a project coming together, four of wands is like the celebration of a wedding. So it could be a wedding, but it's like the celebration of. <clears throat> Spirit, what's this four of wands for Capricorn? Love for a lot of you, knight of cups, magician. It's definitely been an emotional journey. Knight of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. Someone feels the same way about you. Two of Cups. On your Four of Wands, you have the Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, romantic energy, being emotionally open, available. Magician, Seven of Pentacles. Room to grow. You've manifested um, this. Two of Cups, Nine of Swords. It's like Knight of Cups. Whoever starts getting like hey, I want to feel this out and I'm gonna da, da, da. like whoever's the more like romantic, open, creative one, it gets the other one going. For a very, 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 very small group of you, this also feels like if you and someone have been a little distance, I'm not really sure this is going. Well, someone's has like some feelings to express. Hey, I'm really sorry. I haven't been around or da, 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 da. I want to talk to you. Boom, nine of swords, two of cups. It's okay. Well, how are you? I want to talk to you too. It's like as soon as someone dives deep, checks in to the heart, Knight of Cups energy, the other person, the other side of it is right there. They're saying also willing and ready to explore. How beautiful. What's this Knight of Cups for a lot of you? King of Wands, Chariot, Eight of Swords. It's someone that you do want to move forward with for a lot of you. Nine of Cups, let's look at that. In the heart of your reading, um, this is a wish fulfillment. This is a personal win for you. Nine of Wands, this is something you almost gave up on. This is a win of something you almost gave up on. Hierophant, marriage for some of you. I'll never get married. I'll never be the one. I'll never be the thing. I'll never get that position. Yeah, Nine of Wands, this is your last... You, you, you can release any fears around this because this is very victorious and successful, successful energy. Why the Hierophant on your Nine of Cups? 
Eight of Cups, Two of Cups, Ace of Cups. A lot of you, it feels that if you've been distant in a relationship, even someone you're married to, hey, we want to renew our vows right now. Hey, remember when we first met? Let's go back to that, that place and let's something, something. Let's make a new promise there. This is for a lot of you in connections, jobs, that kind of thing. Going back to the, I'm hearing the OG, going back to the original source, the original place, the original location. Why did we originally fall in love with each other? That kind of energy. A lot of you, you're going to be telling, like, I see y'all later in the comments being like, yes, Jacqueline, I'm so glad I never gave up on ba 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 because here it is. Four of Wands. I'm so glad I never gave up on blah, 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 because here it is. I want to look at what I was picking up on. Four of Wands. Union, commitment, marriage, party, doing the thing. A lot of y'all, you know, celebrating like a job success. I'm seeing like a ribbon cutting for a group of you. That kind of thing. Get it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Speaking of not giving up, Nine of Wands. What is that, Hermit? Page of Pentacles, Empress. You're still in practice on being an Empress here. Male or female watching, right? Some of you definitely are dealing with an Earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, double Virgo. For a small group of you that are like trying to get pregnant, have children or have more children, that kind of thing. The Femmes might have not had some good results in the past, but I'm seeing don't give up. The lover's card is lovers which is the next thing we're gonna so for a lot of you again whatever you're like well that wasn't quite quite right oh i didn't get that or that was a failure or that was a disappointment whatever why the page keep going keep going you're still learning keep going that's what i keep getting for you beautiful what is this lover's card for my capricorn please Again, card of Gemini, what's coming in here? Queen of Pentacles, someone sees your worth. I want to be with Capricorn. I want to work with them. Ace of Wands again, Eight of Wands, very excited, exploring your options, getting excited about how many more opportunities there are here. What is this lover's card? Someone coming towards you and you're, when you're in your, this is not the King of Pentacles that came out. When you're even, again, the masculines, the guys, the males, the dudes watching, whatever. When you get in that feminine energy, queen of pentacles, boom. Eight of wands, ace of wands. Hey, how are you? People reaching out. Hey, I have a great idea. Let's do it. Yes, let's do it. Ace of wands. Hey, I haven't talked to you in a while. Da, 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 da. I have a great idea. Let's meet up. Boom. Great idea. Hey, da, 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 da. great. Let's do it. Da, 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 da. Great. Let's do it. It's going to, I'm hearing, it's coming out of the woodwork. Out of the woodwork. Seven of cups, moon, ten of cups. You're like, where have all you been? You're being, I can't. This is so beautiful. You're being illuminated finally to the right people, right situations. Because you've illuminated yourself. Like you've chosen yourself. You've aligned to both sides of yourself. Now, again, now everyone's reaching out. Everyone wants to know what you're doing. How did you get that? How did you do it? Seven of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, World Card. You didn't give up. How'd you do it? I didn't give up. Seven of Swords, I wanted to. I talked shit to myself. I didn't believe in myself some of the time. I listened to other people's negative projections some of the time. But deep down, you knew I'm never going to give up on this. This is a life calling, Spirit said, for a lot of you, whatever this is for you. Ah! Okay, let's look at your five of wands now. Let's move on. Can I heard jealous, jealous, jealous again. I'm literally hearing cars loud cars like driving away sun card came out i told you i literally told you you cannot make this up 
Sun card, seven of swords, nine of swords. Oh, now that you're out in the light and everyone can see you, everyone who lied to you, seven of swords, is there up at night, you know, pulling their hair out, biting their fingernails. Ugh. Why did I lie to myself? Why did I let Capricorn go? Why? What? This is other people asking themselves why. Why? Sun card, you chose yourself. Four of Pentacles, healthy boundaries. Why the sun come out? Eight of Swords, Queen of Cups. A lot of you have come out about a person. This is who I love. I don't care what you say. This is what I'm gonna do with my life. I don't care what you say. This is you really also getting out of your own way and stepping into the spotlight of whatever spotlight you need to be in. <laughs> so proud of y'all. Ah, two of Cups came out. Okay, on an abundance, three of wands. We have the Two of Cups, Knight of Swords. Long-term plans here with a two of cups, a soulmate, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. World card, Knight of Wands. There's some kind of final answer here with the King of Swords as well. Seven of Wands, King of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. This is looking really, really good, Capricorn. I see y'all making a final decision probably for a good group of you about a person that you want to continue to get to know, explore again romantically in a creative situation, in a business deal, whatever. But usually for, for a lot of you, it is about a person. And again, as you close that door, uh, get ready. Get ready. Knight of Wands, Five of Wands, King of Swords. You're actually going to have to turn more into a King of Swords energy Male or female watching, because it's, 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 I'm hearing it's like a final answer. Like, no, I've already made my choice. But, 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 Capricorn, but wait, but, 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 nope, the door is closed. I've left the door open for, <coughs> that's what this is. Three of Wands is the starting card. You go, I've left the door open for you for months, pentacles, years for some of you. And you never walked through. You skipped by my house. The door's been open. So you continue to build your empire, your thing. You got in alignment with you. And now you've made a final, final decision about whatever. An arrangement, a person, a situation, who you love, who you're coming out to be with. I don't know for a lot of you. But as you make a decision about something or somebody, it's like clockwork. But, 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 but Capricorn, too bad, so sad. Where were you last week? Where were you a month ago? Where were you weeks ago? Where were you years ago? Okay, that's your reading, Capricorn. Y'all know y'all are amazing. I love y'all so much. Y'all are my ballers. Okay, and the, the Capricorn the, um, that won the pick a card this time is Ivan Robledo. Ivan, you are my winner. Okay, so Capricorn, if you want me to pick your card next time, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Leave your name in the comment section down below. Next time I might pick you. I love y'all so much. I'll see the next <laughs> I'll see the rest of you next time or in the love reading where we connect with your other person. That's the first link in the description box below. I love y'all, Capricorn. I'll catch you next time. Ivan, how are you, my love? Thank you so much for being a subscriber. We've got two more. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Ivan? Capricorn energy, thank you. temperance you're you're getting a chance to cool down this is your cooling down phase you might be giving something up i'm actually seeing her pouring a drink out so you might be like yeah ace of cups cherry you might be like taking a break from like drinking or something like a any kind of vice that you might have zero judgment on my point and it's like it's not that you're like turning something off completely but you're taking a step back from something because you need room for something else is what spirit is saying. You energetically know 
you need to slow down on something, cool down on something because something else is coming in for you. Yeah, you and the three of pentacles, devil, three of pentacles came out, ace of pentacles. I'm hearing like high roller, I'm seeing crafts. You like, you might be a gambler or you gamble with something. Ivan, yeah, Wheel of Fortune. You've been playing with fire in a situation. King of Cups, maybe with someone's emotions or someone's, you felt that way towards someone. Ivan, Capricorn, Eight of Swords. I heard around the world, around the world, around the world. Daft Punk. Um, Eight of Pentacles. Double eights. Yeah, around the world. Eight of Pentacles. Maybe you've been around the world with somebody. Ace of Swords, Four of Pentacles, and now you're coming home. One of my neighbor's dogs is barking so effing loud. I'm so sorry. And they just, they leave them out there all the time to bark. It drives me insane. There's a lot of distraction in your, in your energy. Like that is totally like annoying me. So it's like, you're trying to focus on a goal. You see that Ivan, you're trying to focus on a goal here, eight of pentacles, but it's like, but I have so many distractions. I see two people here. I see someone that you're probably thinking of who is a distraction for you. And I actually, on the reverse side of that, I think that you've actually, it feels like you've been distracting yourself from something you know you need to focus on. Yeah, you've been in a lot of distraction energy. Thank you, spirit. You've been trying to build something and it hasn't been working out the way that you wanted it to. Um, and you know that something has to change. And we need to start to focus on something instead of letting, you know, I don't know, the, like the temporary little distractions and little things um, take over. All right, let's go deeper. Why did Ivan get the devil here? Death, Ace of Cups. Wow. Scorpio energy, big time. Nine of Swords, Six of Wands. You've kept a lot of people like this at arm's length. Friends, family members, even romantic offers. It felt like you're just like, nope, nope, I'm not doing that. If it involves emotions, if it involves love, it involves connections, you're like, no. What's this three of pentacles? King of swords, masculine air. I'm hearing we really shouldn't be doing this. George Strait, and I don't know why. Sorry, don't make fun of my singing voice. Um, like you know that you've been doing something, watching something, participating in something that's not serving you. I'm not trying to come for you, but this is a stranger telling you that. Yeah, High Priestess, you know better. You know better. Uh, Hermit, Virgo energy. What's this princess of swords about? Seven of cups. What's the king of swords about? Justice. You, Yeah, it's like you've been maybe playing the field and gambling in a situation where it's like, but I need to be focused on this. I know I need to get to work, but I'm procrastinating today and I keep blowing off work. Or, hey, I know I need to, you know, get back in the gym or whatever, whatever, but I'm not doing it. I keep staying up too late and blah, 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 blah. Like there's something going on where, and you already know it, it's not the worst, but it's, it's preventing you from getting to your goal. Now things change. Wheel of Fortune. Four of Wands. King of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. Judgment. What's that Four of Wands to you? Ace of Wands. Prince of Swords. Justice. This is it about making something right? Doing the right thing? Making something... I'm hearing a business, making a contract, business, something official. I'm also seeing something's off the market. So like you might, someone might be taking you off the market dating or someone or vice versa. You might be taking someone off the market, 
But they're also showing me this Nine of Pentacles, like someone's actual house. Like if you, you might be selling a house or buying a house. But this is about you have to, King of Wands, like you have to take action though. It's about you stepping into King of Wands energy and taking action. All right, what is this distraction? What do you keep thinking about? Eight of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. Do I have enough money? Can I afford this? Is it worth it? Is it worth my time? Strength card with the Five of Wands, Six of Wands. Looking at your Five of Wands, you got the Two of Cups. So you kind of do... It kind of feels like someone that you're around that maybe you don't like. You actually do like them more than you think you do. And the reason why you think you don't like this person is because they have everything that you don't in the way of like, not that not everything you don't, but you there's someone who's kind of mirroring your energy and like has a lot of strength and courage in a situation where you feel like you're lacking strength and courage. Someone has a platform that you, that's what I'm seeing, a platform that you have or desire to be, but you're not there just yet. So, you know what I mean? There's a little bit of deeper comparison energy here of what someone has versus what you don't have, but you're actually mirroring that person. You, 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 I mean, they're saying magnet, you magnet them, you mirror them, you magnet them. Eight of Pentacles. Why is this here for Ivan? What's the focus? Yeah, you have to be you have to be willing to be the student and learn here. Seven of Wands, Five of Swords, Six of Cups. This is about you learning from something from your past. I even see like therapy, other healing modalities, journaling, working out, like healthier coping mechanisms, for example. But Spirit said basically a therapy type situation. Seven of Wands, Five of Swords. You're like, no, I don't want to do that. Da -da 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 -da. Six of Cups. Five of Cups, King of Pentacles, but something's been bothering you or you've been doing something for a long time since you were young, since you were a kid, you picked up a bad habit since you were a kid, something like that. And so the hard thing is for you to be willing to be the student again and be willing to, for, to let someone be the teacher role for you and show you how to fix something, get through something so that you can reach your goal. What's your goal? Princess of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Building your legacy, having it all. Maybe a new person coming in, that kind of thing. Helps around, you just have to be willing to accept it. Right? That's your reading. If there's anyone else still here, I love y'all. I'll see you in the love reading next time. Bye.